Sometimes you need to act fast, pick up your phone before things get worse. Hello everyone, it's Ishmael N, your priest, and I welcome you to today's video. You know, one of the things that I keep on learning day by day is the importance of acting when I need to act. If something is up to you, no substituting it. At times, people will be wrong, but you are praying for God to resolve that matter. Your pride does not allow you to go and apologize. You know, sometimes to inquire is better to keep quiet. I remember at some point I needed some of my finances somewhere. They were not sending. And not knowing what else to do, I just thought that maybe as time goes by, as the date comes, they're going to resolve. But fortunately, curiosity came into my mind. I just felt like, you know what? Now they said if you want to contact them, go here. So I took my phone and I contacted them. I emailed them. Fortunately, they responded. And that is how they told me what to do and which was left for me to do. I had not done. So I saw that had I not called, it means I would have waited longer and longer and longer. But the fact that I picked up the phone, it resolved. Listen, there are some things that need you to act. Sometimes you will need to walk. Sometimes you will need to inquire. Sometimes you need to apologize and you will see that somebody had something in store for you. Swallow your pride. Don't be scared to ask because you will know. When you sit idle, that is where you get bent out. Let me tell you, there are a lot of things that it, they need your control. If you don't stand up, you don't walk, things will remain the same. Go perform. The difference between performing without God and with performing while you're with God, the thing is, if you are not without, without God, whatever you do, it's in vain. The Bible says, the builder that builds without God is building in vain. Meaning in all that you do, let God guide you. God will tell you, now go and it will work. Jesus said to the disciples before they became disciples, what did he say? Put the net. Is it on the left or the right side of the boat? And they were like, we tried it over and over, Lord. Now we're tired. And it was like, do it now again. And they were like, but since you say so, O Lord, it's fine because you are saying it. Learn to hear from God. Learn to walk with God. The Lord is still talking. Don't be that person that only reads the Bible and you walk according to the Bible only, but also be hearing. Lord, the Bible says this, but what are you saying in my current situation? He's going to respond to you and whatever he says, it won't contradict what is some ways uh, in some passage in the Bible. That is how you know. Not saying that you must toss aside the Bible, no. But whatever you hear, to know that it's from God, they won't contradict the Bible. You know what I'm saying? In Jesus' mighty name, anything that you have to act upon. In fact, I feel like somebody right now, you are in a position where you need also something along your finances. You've been waiting. It's been pending. I pray, may you know what to do. May you act like I told you how I did it. May God show you a way and you get what is due to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And you can book an appointment with me. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.